What's up, gamers? I'm John. This is my Level Up News, where I bring you news every weekday. It's top news I gather from around the web so you don't have to. Today's Wednesday, March 27, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. Some publishers aren't sure if they should continue making games for the Xbox platform. The third party publishers are having a hard time seeing why they should be making games for Xbox when the sales have been so poor for Xbox. The main reason is that in Europe, the sales have been dipping quarter after quarter and profits from that side are really not coming through. Phil Spencer is still trying to get Xbox games to come to PlayStation and Nintendo Switch. He had this to say to Polygon. This notion that Xbox can only be one device that plugs into a television isn't something we see in Gen Z research because nothing else is like that for them. Some of them will have an iPhone and some of them will have an Android. But all the games and everything in it are the same. I can still get to TikTok on both of them. Well, at least for now. All of their stuff is available whenever they want. So for Xbox, our brand pivot as we attach and maintain relevance with a younger audience is Xbox is a place where I can find great games I want to. There is no way that Xbox can have a comeback this generation. But do you think they have lots of plans for the futures that can help them? Comment down below. Destiny 2 knows how to draw players back into their world with things from the past. In yesterday's Into the Light, we got a reveal that they will be bringing back 12 fan favorite weapons and they will be getting perk enhancements to them. Luna's Howl and the Recluse is two of the weapons that are coming back with updated versions. The 12 weapons will be called the Brave Guns, which is such a cool name for them. They will be available April 9th alongside a new space called the Hall of Champions. And Shrouded is getting its first big update. They released the patch notes yesterday for it. The first big update is getting unique dungeons for each biome. They will be more challenging with legendary rewards and different crafting systems. There will be more quests and enemies to find, new weapons, building blocks, furniture, decorated props, and many more things to craft outside the dungeons. There is so much more that you can go to their official page and check out the patch notes to learn more. Marvel has announced their next big game. Marvel Rivals is an Overwatch inspired game. The game features an array of characters to choose from. In the announcement trailer, we got to see Iron Man, Hulk, Penny Parker, Storm, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, Rocket, Groot, Spider-Man, and many more heroes to choose from. They all have unique moves, and they also have team of power moves that look amazing. The game doesn't have a release date yet, but you can sign up for the closed alpha, which starts in May. The only stores that seem to have the game will be Steam and Epic Game Store. Nothing else on the other consoles. Let me know what your thoughts are on the new trailer. For those of you that haven't played Diablo 4 yet and have Game Pass, get ready to be able to play the game through there. But there is a catch. In order for you to play the game on PC, you have to open up the Game Pass app, then download the Battle.net app to be able to install the game. That's one too many steps to take just to play the game. It's also clear if you will be opening up the game from Game Pass or from Battle.net. Whatever the case may be, I hope you guys get to enjoy this beautifully gory game. And finally, Final Fantasy XIV's latest expansion pack, Down Trail, isn't even out yet and now the game has major queue issues happening. With developers getting ready for the expansion, players are doing everything they can to get through their checklist. Everything that can go wrong at the moment usually happens when the expansion launches, but all the errors are happening right now. They have payments not working. 404 codes and there are even buttons in the game that are not working. Square Enix is working day and night trying to make sure that everything will be working when the expansion is released. Are you excited to play the new expansion? Tell me down below. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.